Hi, in this video I'll show you how to customize your pivot table. Let's say that we have some data here. I'm going to turn this data into a pivot table. Go click anywhere in here, go to insert and create a pivot table. I'll just put a new worksheet here. And let's do some put some data in here. Let's say gender, we'll do that be our account, maybe country. Actually no. Let's put gender. Let's put gender on the top and then country right gender and country so females in the different countries here and you notice that out of the gate by default the pivot table that's created in Excel is what's called the compact so if I go under design I have my report layout we have three different types this is compact uh, this is outline and this is tabular so for the most part if we want to if we always use tabular like I always use tabular I'd like that to always be the default that I use right but we can change it here, and then maybe I also like to have the items repeated because when we have our first item here, that's blank, but we know that all the females are in uh, these different rows. If I collapse that, you'll notice the same thing goes here for male. Let's uncollapse that. And maybe we want to have repeated for all of them. So that's something that we want to do, right? Another thing we might want to consider is maybe we like to have our, our column width the same. So, for example, let's say... I always, always, wanted, always wanted to have my column width stay the same, A, B, C, D. But you notice that if I change things around, if I move gender over here, it's going to change it. Every time we move or adjust our columns and we do any changes within the pivot table, right? it adjusts the column. And maybe we don't like that. So what we can do is we can go under the pivot table options and have it not do that. We don't want it to auto fit under layout and format. We change that, uncheck that, click OK. And when we adjust our columns and we change things around, it doesn't get changed. The column will stay the same. It stays static. It doesn't adjust with the content in there. And maybe another thing that we want to consider is if we have um, updates here, right? So you can see if I click my drop down, we have our gender here, male and female. And what we see nowadays, sometimes we see a new option here called binary. Well, I'll just change it for three here. If I go back into my pivot table, right click and refresh, you'll see binary there. And maybe we didn't want some, that, some of that changes. We change it back. Control C, we'll just change it to something else. And we go to right click and refresh. We'll see that first off, you see we have our options here, right? for our filters and if we right click refresh it's gone from the data here in the pivot table in the view but if you look at, at our drop downs it's still there and you kind of wonder why do I still have a value there and that's because what you want to do is you want to go to options again go to op options and go to data and where it says retain items deleted from data source number of items to retain no you don't want it to retain it. you want none click OK and now if we went back to change it Control enter and refresh our data here. You see it's there, it's available. On the drop down, it's available. And we change it back, or we just pick some other ones here. Control C, Control V to paste. Right click, refresh. And it's gone from here, and it's also gone from our drop downs here. Now, if we create table, pivot tables a lot, we don't want to always customize it one by one for each maybe we want to have it on by default and one way to do that is go into file go to options and under data we have edit data default right click on that and when we mentioned earlier we want maybe the type of report layout we always want it in tabular right and we always want to repeat item labels so that checks off that one we also get to go into our pivot table options. And that time when I adjusted the column width and when I changed the fields in there, it adjusted the columns back. Well, we can have it uh, not auto fit. And that's what that one would do. Also, if we didn't want to have those filters uh, retained for things that disappear in our data source, instead of automatic, we can have none. Click OK, click OK. 
And now if we create a click over here, we'll create a new data table. Delete. Let's delete this pivot table. I'm going to create a new one. Go, I'll go to insert, pivot table, and new worksheet. You can see there's a new worksheet there. Let's put our gender down here. And we have it down here for gender and country. And now you've noticed that it's created the tabular format, right? Go in here. It's created tabular format. I can go back to compact form, which is default. And it also hasn't adjusted the columns. I can make the adjustments here now. Double click that. And if I wanted to change it around, you notice it doesn't get changed. The column which don't get changed. Also, we have our, if I change this back to tabular, you can see that it has repeated those items there. And if I change something here in the source, let's make this one just one here. You can see that there's nothing there. If I change my data here, control enter and refresh this, right click, refresh. You see I have my binary. Of course, the binary shows up there. If I change it to something else, control C to copy, control V to paste. And we have our filters here that include it. Right click, refresh, it's gone here and it's also gone here. So I didn't have to do any of the manual updates to the pivot table configuration. It's already all there by default. So that's what happens when you go into the backstage view, go file, options, and then go under data, make changes to the default layout of pivot tables. You can, you can see that there is a lot of things that you can change. You can change the way the subtotals are viewed, grand totals, report layout, um, blank rows, and this basically takes you into the different pivot table options when you click on that options value there. So you can set your defaults here, things that you kind of like to have it done by default, right? So instead of doing it each time you create a pivot table, if you have certain defaults that you like, set it up once and forget it, and it will always apply for your pivot table. So that's the way you can customize your pivot table. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.